We're also keeping an eye on Vegas with round nine on tap at the National Finals Rodeo for Mile City's Haven Medjid. These next two nights could be the biggest of his life. Scott Breen anchors our coverage. Hi everybody and welcome to Friday the 13th in Las Vegas. What could possibly go wrong? This is actually where I had to shoot video from at the rodeo 25 years ago or so when I started covering this NFR. I was back under here like this and I'd hold the camera down just like this and just hope not to get trampled. Did get hit with a few dirt clods along the way when horses had kicked that stuff up. In the meantime, as for Friday the 13th, I'll tell you what, if there's anybody that can squelch that Friday the 13th deal, it's Smile City rookie Haven Medjit. He's been steady Eddie at these finals. With two nights to go, Medjit still leads the average and he's still projected to win his first world title. What a Cinderella story. And it's not like he just got hot. Medjit's been in the mix all year. The challenge, holding off this guy, four-time world champion, Tough Cooper. One of those is in the all-around. Medjit is in the driver's seat. But I mean, it's uh, something we've dreamt of our whole life, watching it on TV, getting to come out here and compete, you know. Riding in the grand entry the first night was just awesome. And we've pointed this out before, but here's Medjid's take on being one of the rare tie-down ropers ever to come out of Montana. I guess the last calf roper ever here was Bill Parker in 1980 or something. Uh, he was the last guy here, so to be the second guy uh, to ever make it from Montana is just unbelievable, and I just hope uh, it lights a fire in all the Montana kids. Now, by contrast, Helena's Ty Erickson led the steer wrestling world throughout most of this season and most of these finals, but he's not going to get his first gold buckle. Lost his grip on number one again last night. It's a testament to how hard it is to close the deal. I mean, yeah, I haven't had the week that I wanted, but there's also a lot of positives that come out of this week. You know, like I brought a horse here this week that has never been here, and he's been working outstanding. And I got to be excited about that going into the future, you know, because as soon as this is over, we're starting this again. He'll let it fly tonight and tomorrow. Now, you saw Erickson standing there with steer wrestling buddy Bridger Chambers of Steve I. He now lives in Butte. And with your college football FCS quarterfinals firing up tonight, Ty does own the edge over Bridger as a Montana State fan with four straight over the Grizz. Chambers can't say much other than he's looking forward to tonight's game at Weber. Dance, I don't know I who I don't know here. who Bozeman's playing. Grizz, right? I know the Grizz are playing <laughs> Weber State, <laughs> and they already beat them once. So hopefully they'll go down. But they're a tough team, so we'll see. So you're taking a page out of Bobby's book, and you're just calling it Bozeman. Yeah, you know, you're you're know you're where's that other side? We don't know. <laughs> couple of great Montana guys right there. All right, let's do this. Round nine of the National Finals Rodeo coming up in just a couple hours in Las Vegas. Scott Breen, MTN Sports. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, we'll have full highlights of round nine tonight. Join us at 10.